everybody, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and this is my mission inspiration video for August. Um, the first two steps I did backwards, I just had this one in my head, so I went and did it, and um, yeah. So the prompt was to sprinkle on some confetti or sequins and spray with ink. I didn't have any of that, so I sprinkled on some rice and I sprayed it with ink, and that was the result. The next step is to glue fragments of map or atlas. I didn't have any old or brown. Well, this one's old, but it wasn't brown. And I kind of wanted brown, so I am spraying it with some walnut stain. I got it nice and wet first, and now I'm just brushing that around so that uh, I don't have big, dark um, spots on it. And here I'm just adding some more just to get it more interesting and then I decided since it was already wet it would be easier to tear so I'm tearing it now and then we'll let it dry so now we have our dry pieces and I'm going to glue it on to the page. This is a magazine I'm using for my mission inspiration videos. Um, that was walnut ink and obviously it's not um, water fast when dry so this ends up being kind of a mess during this process. And my August video is happening in September. Um, I just have so many things going on that uh, I couldn't quite keep up with it this month. Hopefully, September's will be in September. <laughs> I kind of like how that rice looked on there, but I think I lose all of that when gluing um, the map down. And I am using Liquitex Matte Medium for this. I know it's more expensive than Mod Podge, but I have noticed that it, the pages don't stick quite as much when I use this as opposed to Mod Podge. When I close the book, the pages really stick. And I don't know what I had planned, but I thought I liked the dark in the center. Um, and I don't really do anything with it later on. I added more dark in the center, and yeah. It ends up just being this dark blob in the middle of the picture. So the next step is add ru rubber stamps. So I have a few little rubber stamps. And some Distress Ink, which also does not hold up well um, to liquid mediums, so most of those kind of disappear as well. Well, the next prompt, I believe, kind of covers up a lot. When I stamped those gears on there, I thought, well, maybe I could go with the something sort of steampunky. But then one of the prompts was uh, the focal image out of a coloring book, and I had nothing that would be steampunky. So. OK, 
Okay, so this next prompt is add a tree. So you could paint a tree or collage a tree. I end up painting a tree. And I don't know why I didn't turn that darkness into this in the center into a gnarly tree, but I didn't. I painted this part of it, the tree part, about a week ago um, before I went on a short trip and you know I don't remember what my thinking was with it. Just to paint a tree I guess. Here I just go crazy. I'm like, this tree needs lots of branches, so I just fill the whole space up with lots of branches. <laughs> Covered up the little white dot there. Alright, so um, now I've I'm going to put on some leaves and I'm just using a textured sponge. This is just a piece of a sea sponge. I'm just using it to create the leaves on the tree. Added some light and some dark for a little bit of depth. So the next prompt was add some string or glue on some string. So I have some yarn and decided I'd have something hanging down from this tree. It's not supposed to look like a noose but it almost does. <laughs> I'm just using some Elmer's glue. And then I decide I don't want it fluffy, so I cover it with the Liquitex. Not quite sure why I thought it needed it, but that's what I did. Because I didn't want it to move. And so this next one is to add a coloring book focal image. So a focal image from a coloring book. And this is the only coloring book I have at the moment. And it's just like a little sample Charlie Brown coloring book. I thought this would work well with the tree. They can be swinging in the tree. And these colored pencils are mostly Crayola. They're they're nothing fancy.
So sorry you didn't see that last step. I don't know if I didn't have my camera running or I've lost the uh, recording, but I just put those on and then added two more strings for the other two girls in the swings. And the next prompt was to add circles, circle marks. So just using a couple of lids and putting some circles around. And then this prompt was add black and white shadows and highlights. So I'm using my general sketch and wash pencil to create shadows around the um, coloring book image just to make them pop a little bit more. Kind of feel like they're just hiding in this busy background. All right, and for the highlights, I am using my Signal uh, white pen. It works pretty well. And I'm just highlighting some of the areas on the faces and on the shirts of these um, characters. And then I decided, well, maybe I could highlight the tree a little bit. So the next one was add a border with ink. I didn't really want to draw, so I am using a homemade stamp. It just has kind of a diamond pattern. And just stamping with my ink pad. And I just go till I hit the tree. prompt is to add journaling and so since I had this um, page I went and looked for um, a quote by Charles Schultz and I found this one that I thought worked really well with the swinging thing and it says I think I've discovered the secret of life you just hang around until you get used to it. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Well, I hope you liked that page. Um, I hope you give it a try. Um, follow one of those Facebook groups and try their prompts. They are a lot of fun. Well, if you did like it, please hit like. Feel free to share, comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.